Okay, so we all have great intentions to practice tons and tons of harmonica every single day so that we turn into absolute beasts on the instrument. But sometimes life gets in the way and days go past, week goes past, and months, years, and you think, wow, I've not actually done any practice and I've not actually gotten any better. If you said yes to any of this, do not worry, I'm gonna show you how you can get back on track. Okay, let's give this video a little bit of context. Uh, so I've not practiced harmonica in six months. And you might be thinking, whoa, that's what Tomlin does. Why hasn't he practiced harmonica in six months? Well, we had a baby six months ago. And if you have kids, you'll know that this changes absolutely everything and your time just seems to disappear. Uh, now I'm feeling like, A, I really wanna get back on top of my practice, Plus, I think that I can now start to fit it in again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called the 28 Day Harmonica Practice Challenge. And uh, I'd like to invite you to take part in it. But before I tell you about that, I'm going to tell you the three crucial elements uh, to building a good practice habit. Now, the first one is uh, harnessing something called a flow channel. Uh, so let's let's talk about what a flow channel is. Okay, so the flow channel is all about trying to get into that state uh, where it's easy and fun to work on something. Uh, so there are two factors that you need to think about with this. You've got to think about the challenge level. And you've got to think about the skill level. And the correlation between the two. So if the challenge is too high for your skill level, then it gets really frustrating because it's too hard. If on the other hand, the challenge is too low for your skill level, then it gets too boring. It's too easy. So what you're trying to do is get to this nice spot in the middle, the balance between the two, the flow channel, which is where you'll find that time flies by, you enjoy what you're doing, but you also uh, get good results from it. So make sure that whatever you're working on is up to the skill level that you're at and pushes you a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so now you know uh, that you need to carefully decide uh, what you're practicing and how difficult it is. Um, let's look at the second important element of creating a good practice habit, uh, which is tying your habit, your new habit, to a pre-existing habit. Uh, what do I mean by this? Well, if you look through your day, uh, you'll notice that there are things that you do every single day. So for example, me, I'm going to tie my practice habit to uh, my son's second feed of the day. That's something that happens every single day uh, and, and, and that's usually the, the moment before I start my work in the morning. So before I start my work, after he's had his feed, I'm going to do my practice, okay? And this is gonna be different for everyone. It could be finishing your first cup of coffee in the morning. It could be the first thing you do when you get home from work. It's gotta be something that's practical for you. So have a little think about it and then work out what your pre-existing habit is to help you create the new habit. Okay, third important part of creating a new habit is accountability. Now, there are many ways that you can create accountability. I'm creating accountability by telling you what I'm going to be doing. So we have social accountability. And I suggest that you do something similar. So what you can do is if you use the hashtag 28 day harmonica practice challenge on Instagram and tag me at Tomlin Harmonica Lessons, then I will know that you intend to take part in the challenge. And I'll be able to see that as will uh, all, all the members of the community. And you'll get some accountability from that. Also, I'm gonna be posting daily updates to my Instagram stories so you can see how I'm doing with my practice.
There's nothing quite like telling the world that you're going to do something to make you feel like you have to do it. And as a bonus, if you're a member of my online harmonica school, um, then there'll be a special area in the forum just for people taking part in this 28 day practice challenge. And uh, that, that will be a really fun, fun part of the community. Uh, okay, so I have put together uh, some exercises that you can do for this practice challenge. Uh, but before I show you what those are, uh, please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon to be notified when I upload new harmonica content. Okay, so we talked about the flow channel and making sure that you pick something that is challenging enough to uh, keep you excited, but not so challenging that you get frustrated. So I have created three uh, exercises based around the same theme. So the theme is that we're going to do five minutes of practice each day. You're going to uh, set your metronome and you're gonna set a timer. Uh, it, on my metronome, you'll see that uh, there's a timer on it. Um, I'm gonna set that for five minutes and I'm going to play this exercise uh, for five minutes and I'm not going to stop and that's really important. Okay, so let's have a listen to what the easy version of this is going to sound like. Okay, now let's have a listen to the medium version of this exercise. Okay, now let's listen to the hard version, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing. So what's the point of this exercise? Well, the point is that you're going to have a riff that you're going to play over and over and over. And in between repetitions of that riff, you are going to improvise. So this will help you to build up your stamina. It will help you to uh, improve your rhythm. And the great thing about this exercise is that you can push it to be as hard as you want it to be by making the phrases that you're trying to improvise in the spaces more and more complex. Uh, so I, I find this a really, really good one for building up my uh, general fluidity on the instrument. Okay, as I said before, you can push this exercise uh, as hard and as far as you want by making the licks that you play in between harder and harder. Uh, so make this exercise harder over the course of the 28 day practice challenge. So this 28 day practice challenge is going to start on the 1st of February. And what I've done is I've actually created a free e-course uh, for you to learn the riffs, learn which riff you're going to work on. And it's got some worksheets you can download to make it easier for you to uh, track your practice. And you're gonna do that every single day in February. And by the end of the month, you will probably have a brand new practice habit. And it's only five minutes a day, but you can build on that. It's just starting that, that, that practice habit, making it as easy as possible. The biggest mistake that people make uh, in practicing an instrument or getting fit or eating better is that they, they go too hard too fast. People say, I'm gonna go to the gym, three hours a day, five days a week. Uh, I'm going to eat nothing but salads. Uh, I'm gonna practice seven hours of guitar every day. It's impossible to make those huge changes. So start with something so easy, you can't fail. Make it easy. Life doesn't have to be hard. So make that uh, your 28 day practice challenge five minutes a day. And you can click on the link in the description below to join that course. It's totally free. We're just gonna be there to, to help you out. And don't forget uh, to use the hashtag 28 day harmonica practice challenge on Instagram and tag me at Tomlin Harmonica Lessons. All right, I'm very excited to see how you get on and uh, hopefully I managed to make it all the way through this 28 day challenge. Uh, see you next time. Happy harping.
Well, 